Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm here to show you around a short track 5x8 in what we call our Deluxe Series Dump. So this is the standard short track with a few extra options on it. So let's show you some of the features as we walk around this particular unit. So this 5x8's got a 5,200 pound axle traded at 5,000 pound GVW. So one thing on smaller dumps, a lot of times you get a little bit shorter tongue. This one here we've gone with the adjustable coupler up front. So it's got a six channel, but beyond just that, it also extends your tongue out uh, a couple extra inches. Normally you get about six or so inches. And then with the adjustable coupler, we've gone ahead to the 7,000 pound drop leg jack. If you're not familiar, it's got basically a outer sleeve and then it's got the inner leg. Uh, no need anymore with that to carry around a wood block or similar. Gives plenty of extension and a very simple ease of use. Now, this is also a cast adjustable coupler as well, not a stamped. A uh, lot heavier duty setup. Notice it is reinforced. 7K jack's going to have your grease zert uh, for serviceability. Also, notice it's a bolt on design. If you ever need to replace it, very simple to do so. And with Shore Track, one of their many user friendly features, you got a plug holder. Has a standard seven pin. Uh, blade RV blade style plug that's pretty much standard on all trucks nowadays Notice that that is a fully sealed wire harness harness does go in frame. It's grommeted uh, very well put together Standard breakaway cable and your safety chains There's a top line jack very simple to use So short truck uses a tread plate toolbox kind of gives it a nice look rod so KTI pump is currently standard as is a DECA power up power down group well the pumps power up power down with a group 24 DECA deep cycle marine battery so if you've never had a dump trailer before some folks think that this fully charges off the truck and in some cases it does keep in mind uh, that's a 140 amp hour battery most trucks charge at about a 3.7 amp hour rate so that's a lot of driving uh, to get this trailer fully charged off your truck now keep in mind um, small dump like this you're gonna get more dump cycles per battery charge than you would on say a bigger 14 16 foot dump so in some cases on this size dump it very well may be enough just off your truck side so if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about in your seven pin plug is gonna be a hot line or an accessory line so it'll it'll get some charge off that seventh pin off your truck assuming of course the truck is set up for that as most are so it's a power up power down we can easily tell because of the two coils uh, on the pump also on a power up power down you're gonna get a smaller reservoir so you got a little bit extra room in the toolbox uh, for our other items that uh, might need to go along this is a lockable box keys are in the back side of the box so it is a, a power up power down <laughs> So a trailer this size hums up and down pretty quickly. Never timed it, but probably 15 or 20 seconds up and likewise down. Doesn't require a real big cylinder. Trailer this short uh, doesn't have a whole lot of leverage. Short track on this is using a three inch cylinder. It's a triple tube tongue. It is made from tube four inch and then also on the main frame. Gusset plate tying together the tongue and the frame. Bulkhead to push off of for the cylinder. Notice all the wiring coming out, it's all grommeted. Uh, tell you, short track, very seldom do we ever have any sort of wiring uh, issues. Do a very good job, everything's grommeted, sealed. Um, just very clean manufacturer, does a quality job, even sealed brake connections. So again, um, guys that take pride in what they do, do a good job. Notice also the uh, pivot points here at the back are all greasable. A little bit heavier heavier hinge plates full seam welded some of them actually do double pass welds on uh, radial tires standard it's a 225 75 r15 load range d eight ply radial tire on a silver mod wheel it does have the newer style forward adjusting brakes it's self tension over time just like a car uh, very little service required to these also has the black cap on the end of the axle for your easy loop hubs a homeowner with basic hand tools can do your own bearing maintenance. Yeah, go ahead and put this down to show you a little bit more of the bed itself. 
Now, one of the new things that just started, uh, a shroud has been on this trailer for a little while, but you'll notice uh, on the shroud now is the sail bar retainer. So these are prefab for a tarp. So if you want a tarp kit on these, oftentimes we do have them. Uh, a sail bar is also built into the design. So what that is, would just be a fancy name for a rod that would go across, pick it up with one hand, walk it back to the back. Uh, stake pockets on these are standard on the outside. They've now also put them on the front. So if you want to put a two by in uh, for uprights, you put your two by here, you can go with the higher sides. For a homeowner, that's certainly a nice option. Some guys might be hauling dirt or stone. Some guys might be hauling tree, tree brush and whatnot that is bulky and takes up a lot of space. Now you notice Short Track does all full seam welds. That's important. Uh, oftentimes in the industry, we see a fair amount of stitch welds. Uh, and on these 4D ring standard, and then you've got the fifth front and center. Makes it nice if you ever need to come along something in or whatnot, use a little portable winch or similar. So one of the other items we've added to what we call our deluxe on these would be the combo spreader gate. Some folks are looking for that. Now the barn door would be the most common uh, gate style, which would simply unlatch and swing the gate open okay so the barn door would be the most common but then quite a few folks will also look to spread so you can set the depth gauge like so release your handle and this one is set up for that spreader feature one thing we like about shore track generally speaking everything just fits the way it should you'll notice there even with one hand i was pretty much able to operate the trailer another little detail we do we like to cross the chains up and then put this side uh, down in just for some extra safety you'll notice there are grease zerts on your pivot points on the gate now five wides are not set up for ramps from shore track they do put uh, a five by eight or a five by ten you can get with an optional landscape style gate at the back uh, Commonly, those will do in a 10, not so much on the single axle eight footers. Uh, we've got those in different video. Spare tire mount is standard across the board on all short track dump trailers. Nice feature. Again, little details they do. Uh, four beads of weld on these. They also get the insides. Somebody hits that by accident. It's gonna take a lot of work to take that one off. Uh, this does have upgraded tread plate fenders, not the smooth. And then again, stake pocket standard. Now, this keyway is important too. Makes this trailer a lot sturdier without really adding empty weight to the trailer. So, if you go hit on an average trailer, there's going to be a lot more deflection there than what that one has. So much, uh, much like a basement foundation wall, you don't want a long straight wall. You want to break it up to give strength. Similar here, you don't want a long straight wall on the dump. If you put that keyway into the side, it gives you a lot of additional strength. Uh, of all of our brands as well, Short Track does a great job on their steel prep uh, at their dump plant, which is a newer plant, the newest Short Track plant currently. Uh, all the steel comes in uh, covered or tarped, goes inside the building, none of it's stored outside. The final uh, product is blasted, not individual components. And it's got a nice white blast, uh, gets a uh, phosphate wash like most, and then there's an additional step where they'll uh, do a zinc chromate type uh, finish that just allows that paint to bond or powder coat to bond uh, better than most of the other uh, units that we've seen in the industry that we stock in and, and other brands. Uh, but the finish on these generally tends to be our best, uh, makes it ideal for anybody that's a homeowner just because generally you're probably not going to phase this out and write it off quite as quick as say a contractor so it's able to be used by more than just a homeowner but certainly it makes a nice homeowner unit because uh, generally the, the finish on it's going to stay looking nice for a long time so this is available in a tandem axle model 7000 gbw and then here in the 5 by 8 single axle if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers feel free to give us a ring at 717-220 4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com thanks for looking